And in today's video, we're going to discuss about the seven level of wealth. Understand the seven level of wealth, you will achieve your financial freedom. Once you understand the seven level of wealth, it'd be a lot easier to get there. So this video is going to show you a breakdown, the breakdown of the seven level of wealth. The first level is dependent. This is when you're still dependent on someone else to provide for you. For example, like living at home, find your place in this world. This is the hardest level to get past. You know, do whatever it takes to get past this level. But it's also the perfect time to invest in yourself and grow your skill. Skills that you will be in demand by employer services the world need. This is when college and vocational school is a good option. Next level is survival. This is when you just earn enough money, income, to cover your expenses and you no longer require someone for financial support. This is when you take time to clip coupons, use reward system, and eat at home the majority of the time to reduce your expenses. And you continue to invest in yourself. Now, what I can tell you is, now, a lot of people might say coupons, why waste your time on coupon? When you're in survival mode, you have time, it makes sense to coupon, right? Some of the, the mentors out there, they will tell you, don't waste your time on couponing. You have to start somewhere. If you have time and it takes like a minute to to coupon, to clip a coupon, it's worth it. You're saving that money. You save like 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, and it adds up. Take that money, you invest it. The next step is financial stability. This is when your income can cover your expenses and you have enough left over to start saving and paying all debts alone. You have six months of emergency, emergency fund. And it's important to have six months of emergency fund. But that means you pretty much, you're stable. When you have six months emergency fund, you have more control of your life. You know, if you have a, something that comes up, you can relocate that funds um, for that emergency. Let's say your car breaks down and it costs a thousand dollars to fix it. Now, let's say you don't have that funds, you have to go pay on a credit card and then you get interest charge on that. But you can see where I'm getting at. When you have emergency fund, you won't be in that situation where you have to pay a credit card, you can just pay it off, pay it front with cash or whatever, and you don't have to worry about paying interest. So that gives you more control of your life and your choices instead of just, you don't have six months emergency fund, you, you have to come up with somewhere, borrow money somewhere. You have less control of your life. Avoid living a flashy lifestyle. You know, spend within your means. Avoid the status of big hat, no cattle. So what is a big hat, no cattle? It's a person who wears a large hat but possesses no cattle. For example, driving a nice car and wearing nice clothes but has no money. Try to avoid all that. That will get you in trouble. This level, most middle class earners find themselves stuck at this level. It's the hardest. Next level is security. Security is you, you have a stable income and enough savings in the bank. Not including your six month emergency fund, you can now start to grow your wealth and plan for retirement. Great stage to start a business or hobby if you have skills or calls for it. You no longer need to clip coupons and you get to enjoy more eating out and have a nice vacation trip. Tips. At this level, you want to start investing. Having a five-year plan and setting your financial goal. Start early to let your money grow. That's the key. 
money grows fast. If it's snowball effect, they call it a compound effect. You understand the compound effect, snowball effect, as they call it. At 10% annual return, your initial investment will double every seven years. Every seven years, it will double at 10%. The next level is independence. You pay off all high interest debts, excluding mortgage loan. Your investments or business create enough passive and or income to cover all your living expenses. Your net worth is positive. You liquidate all your assets. Your investment funds your lifestyle and you no longer need to work. Most business investment takes at least two to three years to be profitable. Becoming successful and generate assets income once they hit the seven to 10 year mark. So you gotta have patience and you gotta be dedicated. You gotta have the drive too and the ambition. They see a lot of people out there where they, they start business and they, they expect a great return in the first couple years. That's not gonna happen. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of time, and a lot of dedication to see that return eventually. But it does pay off if you stick with it. And like, you always want to do with something that you love doing. And when you love doing something, it's like not work. And that's the key. Find something that you like, like to do. Start like a hobby or something. Eventually grow into it. And then provide service and people will come. Next level is financial freedom. Your investment grows faster than you can spend it. Wealth assets worth 10 years of your current annual expenses. At this level, you now have the wealth to travel around the world, buy luxury goods, or eccentric experience and aspirations. Congrats, you have reached and considered the top 10% of net worth in the US. Many people dream about reaching this level, but many will never reach this level. Continue to grow your wealth and scale it. The key is to scale it. Your investment and passive income can now easily fund your content lifestyle. Abundant wealth. You have assets more than you ever need. At this level, you turn your focus on philanthropists. Giving back to society and your community. Start planning your legacy you want to leave behind for future generations. This is the last level that everybody wants to reach. A lot of the mentors out there, a lot of the content creator and mentors, they don't tell you the seven level of wealth. They might tell you, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And you're wasting your time. Everybody has to go to these seven level wealth to get to the final abundance wealth. So whatever it takes, if you're dependent on the first level or your survival, you have to clip coupon to get here, you gotta do it. So once you understand the seven level wealth and you know where you, you're at, what level, you can actually kind of use this to plan according to where you wanna go in with your life or your wealth. That's the reason why I created this content. I figure I share it and provide some information out there because there is a lot of confusion when you hear all these content creator and mentors out there that are telling you that, you know, not to do this, not to do that. But sometimes if you're at a certain level of wealth, let's say you can't jump from the dependent to financial freedom or abundance wealth, you have to go through all these stages. And understanding these stages will help you plan better and you be more attainable. And if you like this content, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and until next time, I look forward to doing another video soon.